Hey there, all you true blue believers and Sega fanatics alike. Your district attorney, Sonic Van, here with some interesting news on Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces. So, in a recent interview by Game Crate of Takashi Zuka and Shun Nakamura, we got some interesting news for Sonic Forces and Sonic Mania. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. The biggest thing is that when asked about how the three characters would tie in together for the story of the game, Shun Nakamura actually answers that this the story will be similar to Sonic Adventure 2. They're kind of taking from it where we'll be seeing different perspectives. So the way he describes it, if you're playing classic Sonic, if you're playing modern Sonic, or if you're playing the customizable hero character, you'll be seeing the story from their perspective. So we'll probably be able to pick, you know, modern Sonic story, classic Sonic story, and hero character story, which I find pretty cool. We'll be able to see different perspectives going throughout the world, especially since this is kind of like a global thing. The reason I say that is that because you can actually see that we have a globe as the level select screen. So maybe we might have the hero character going to areas classic Sonic and modern Sonic don't go to. It's pretty exciting to see how this game is like coming together, especially since we're finally getting so much information on the game. Now, another one of the questions is, what inspired the idea of the custom character? And Takashi Izuka actually answers, saying that for the past 20 years, he's been getting fan mail saying like, oh, here, look, this is my fan character, or this is my own character that I made for the Sonic universe and stuff like that. So, one of his ideas was to just finally put something like this in the game. So I think that's actually pretty nice, he's responding to the fans in his own little way right there. Or at least, not really a little way, but a big way. Finally, this is like something that actually really interests me, is how Takashi Izuka reacted when people saw the 2D classic gameplay. He says he was a little surprised and nervous because there are some people that aren't as enthusiastic about Sonic Mania being a 2D pixel platformer. Although there is a vast majority of people that love it, there are some people in the fan base that didn't have such a positive reaction to this. So it's, you know, a mixed thing, but mostly positive. So that's pretty much it for now. If you like this video, leave a like and a comment. And if you want more information on Sonic Forces, Mania, and any other Sonic things I can get my hands on, Please subscribe for more, I'll try to keep up with all this information, and with that, peace out.